What's up guys, I'm back after a long long time, I'm sorry for that, now I'm back on YouTube, uh, I had some personal stuff to take care of, but now it's fine, and we hit legend this season already, uh, we hit legend like a couple of days back in my discord live with my mates, El Arun, aka Yonko Arun, and UJRL37, if you haven't heard of that name, UJRL37 was once number 2 in the world, in the leaderboards, and yeah, so today we'll be looking at some fun team, uh, not some fun team, one fun team uh, that consists of Tapafini in the lead and Ampharos and Giratina in the back. Well, I used uh, Amp and ILA for a couple of battles, but then I decided to switch into Giratina for more bulk. So yeah, and this is a fun team to use. You guys can try this team as well. And yeah, we hit legend. Uh, now these, uh, these battles are some of my battles that I shoot after hitting, hitting legend, sorry, after hitting legend. So yeah, my first opponent in Mad Max, and let's see, they got Clefable in the lead. Now in this lead, what I like to do is, uh, sometimes I throw the Moonblast right away, but I try to bait them with Surf, because Moonblast does more damage. Oh, I actually I decided to go to Moonblast, and that's fine, I kind of forgot. Uh, I played these battles right after I hit the legend. So yeah, they are doing well <laughs> against our Tapofini, but let's see what, what we do. Uh, I throw the surf right away. Actually, I kind of messed, messed it up. Now I have to come in with Emperors if they take my Tapofini out, because uh, Moonblast from Cliffable would do a lot of damage, and they decided to come in with their Alolan Sand Slash, and I'm not switching because I cannot switch and I was hoping that uh, yeah I already have two thunder punches so I was hoping that they had polyrath and I kind of guessed it they have polyrath in the back so a lot of uh, cliffables leads run polyrath in the back so I decided not to swap so I guess that uh, at that very moment and they get to their move this is very unfortunate for me and this is a meter mesh, which they didn't take me out. So it's a body wrap. Uh, we guessed it correctly. So all we need to do is throw the dragon claws, and I decided to throw the dragon claw right away before they debuff my attack. As you can see, they go for the icy wind. And my Giratina is really not that good IV Giratina, so yeah. But it doesn't matter. I guess it's 13, 13, 13. And yeah, I go. I spam these Dragon Claws. I think I decided to go for Shadow Sneak uh, for my final move. Yeah, I decided to go for Shadow Sneak, but they decided to shield, I guess. Yeah, they decided to shield it, but bad news for them, I've got a Thunder Punch loaded in my Ampharos. And this is a good game. And yeah, guys, I've seen a lot of Dragonite leads. There you go, there you see one. This is why I'm running Tapufini in the lead. You can also run other uh, fairy types. And they swap into their, switch into their uh, Goli support. I hope, uh, I can, I'm not good at these pronunciations. Uh, I, go, I build up to two Thunder Punches and go for Thunder Punch. Sometimes I like to go for Brutal Swing, you know. I'm just not showing my uh, uh, Thunder Punch. Because a lot of Ampharos are running uh, Trailblaze as well. And yeah, some, uh, let's suppose if they come in with Talonflame and they think it's Brutal Swing and Trailblaze variant and they, they don't shield, then Thunder Punch would do a lot of damage. Plus it's a stab move, so. And they've got a Skeledurge at the back. Uh, that's three incinerates there. I made a quite uh, misplay there. I come in right into my Tapufini because I know one Shadow Ball will not KO me. I've got a lot of health remaining in my Tapufini. And the Shadow Ball will not KO me, so this game is already over. This is another good game. Uh, slight misplays by uh, me as well. Quite a few times, but there are a lot of uh, Dragonite leads. Now here's the thing. A uh, couple of seasons back in Ultra League, if there were Dragonite leads, then uh, it was a 90% chance that there would be Registeel at the back. But this season, it's a 95% chance that they've got Scalar Dodge at the back if it's a Dragonite in the lead. So yeah, I was guessing that 
they've got Skeletor Dirge at the back, so they're not swapping out because ABA weak against uh, Tapu Fini. This is why I like to run Tapu Fini because Skeletor Dirge is very, very popular these, these days, both in Ultra and Great League. And some Dragonites run uh, Hurricane, and I decided to shield up. I don't know what I was thinking. As I told you, I just hit Legend and played these battles, and they've got a Talonflame in the back. And see, uh, I throw in the CMP here. This is Thunder Punch, and they decided to let it go. I guess they were hoping like Brutal Swing, and for some reason they went for Fly, but yeah, it doesn't really matter now. And they actually, this must be a superpower. Yeah, this was a superpower. I come in with my Tabu Fini. Yeah, definitely I come in with my Tabu Fini. I don't want those Dragon Breaths uh, damaging my Giratina. And it's a Skeletor Dirge in the back, ABB Fire. See, they took their, they swapped me to their Talonflame and they still had the Skeletor Dirge at the back. I, and Tabu Fini survived three incinerates. And I banked one more Surf and I came into Giratina. I decided to go for Dragon Claws straight, not Shadow Sneak, because I know one Dragon Claw and one Surf would be enough to KO the Skeletor Dirge. And two Disarming Voices will not KO me, so they have to go for Shadow, Shadow Ball. And I have a Surf banked here. Yeah, this shouldn't have been this close of the game as it seems to be, but yeah, it's fine. S Bill 7 is my next opponent. And it's a Dragon Dragon Knight lead again. So see, see guys. And this time they bring in Jailson. When they bring in Jailson, uh, in my mind I was thinking that they've got like ABB water. Uh, most of them run Jailson and Polyrath, and some of them run Jailson and Tentacruel in the back if it's a Dragon Knight lead, and if they are running ABB water. Unlike the ABB fire, uh, the previous team was. So I was hoping. Like I was guessing, uh, it's either a Tentacruel or Polyrath at the back. Uh, but yeah, they baited me once and they landed the Shadow Ball. So yeah, one they take my Ampharos out and it's a Lantern. This surprised me quite a lot because uh, it was ABB Water. We guessed it correct, but not Polyrath or Tentacruel, but it was Lantern. So there was nothing Lantern can do against uh, full health Giratina there. And that's a game number four. We took that. This is a, a little sand slash in the lead. Now, what I like to do is I throw in nine or ten. Uh, yeah, I over farm and yeah, they'll definitely go for two drill runs and try to take Tapu Fini out. And yeah, this is another drill run and I decide to let it go. Oh no, I actually shield. Okay. I usually decide to let. Uh, my top of any goal because this team is so uh, weak against Greedent and Sand Slash unless you find them in the lead. Now here's a mistake I made. I should have stayed there and let my top of any go. Now I know that they've they need some coverage for Charizard, Talonflames, Skeledurge because they had Sand Slash in the lead. So I was guessing some someone like something like a Polyrath at the back. But I think it turns out to be water, but different different kind of water. You'll see, and it's a goalie support. So yeah, uh, this is. Uh, I think I come in with Tabu Fini to uh, soak the damage, but I decided to catch, and I was successful on catching it. Yes, I caught it, but this game, and now the problem is they've got two shields, so I cannot really throw the energy here, and. Actually, I should have shielded this liquidation and maybe I had a chance, but this is going to be a simultaneous KO and they still got the Pokemon at the back with some, I don't know. Uh, yeah, so yeah, that, that was my five, ba five battles after I hit Legend. Uh, yeah, you can run this uh, team and give a thumbs up if you like my content, guys. I'll try to bring some more videos regularly. I'll try harder and thank you guys. Thank you so much.